G'day everyone. I've got my uh, crosshair settings and how I use it. If you don't want to spend money on crosshair, I've also got a, another option for you. It's not great, but it will do the job. So, crosshairs, I've only got a few. I only use this one and as my mouse as well. Uh, display modes. Now, you can chuck it on your game bar. So, when you open up your game bar, it'll be an option up the top here. Obviously, crosshair, you can pin it, make sure it's centered. Then you've got it on your screen like that. But if you don't want to use game bar, because I think some people don't have it and it reduces performance or you know something i don't know you lick you can easily just just open up the app press simple overlay and it's there it's just there on your screen you have to change it to game bar if you um want to get it off but yeah just have this if it's not on the right display obviously click it uh position and size i have not touched this so i don't know what to do size that's how big it is for me as for getting my crosshair, I went into community and I think it was, obviously there's heaps to choose from. It was this one, look, it's, it's exactly the same. So I chose that one um, and then went with that. Keybinds, now you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna have your aim on the hide crosshair hold so that when you right click, it will disappear. See like that on the middle of your screen, it disappears. So you wanna have it on hold. Um, unless you use toggle aiming i don't know who does that but you know that's i have it on hold now designer what did i do these are the settings i've got for it. i put the opacity up length thickness gap blah 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 no center dot i don't think no uh, outline is this opacity thickness blur that's the color animations so this is see in the middle here i can't really zoom in on it but when I hold up, I can change the can change the size actually. So what happens with the animation? Uh, so what happens with the animation? I've got the fire animation applied, so it literally just makes it kind of spread. The longer I hold down the shoot button, and you can change how long it takes. You can change how long it takes to start. All that sort of jazz here. Um, but you mess around with that. Find what you like most. And yeah, you can change here how <laughs> how far it opens and that sort of stuff. Um, but I usually have it on pretty low. And then you can uh, you can mess around with the layers and all that sort of jazz to get what you want. You can also put in images from Google where you can go on find a. I think it's there's one of them that works the best. But anyway, you can put all sorts of shit in there and use it as a uh, crosshair. So that's handy, I guess. Uh, for the cursor, um, I made it my mouse thing somehow, and I've never bothered to change it back or wanted to. And I think I just pressed this, but you're going to have to figure that out yourself. And then in the options, there's just all of this sort of jazz. You mess around with that sort of stuff. So what I wanted to show you was this free alternative you get from the Microsoft Store right here. Search up Crosshair, Crosshair V2 kind of the same sort of thing a lot more basic and you've only got a few shapes to work with however it still should be okay uh, you've got the shape changing you've got the size changing you got the color and that's pretty much it um, it's not horrible and there are some like this one that I could recommend getting behind that's not too bad but yeah, definitely if you've got the uh, if you've got the five to ten, maybe twelve dollars, I think it is, definitely go Crosshair X.